When first starting to manage Apple devices, there are a variety of tools and workflows that we need to consider. First, we need to look at what type of devices that we're looking to manage. Smartphones, tablets, laptops, BYO or corporate owned. Second, we need to understand what we're looking to secure on those devices. What type of applications like email and other corporate data and resources that may reside on those devices. And then finally, your organization will need to leverage an MDM as well as Apple Business Manager uh, to bring those pieces together. Once we have those components aligned, there are a variety of different ways that a company and end users can enroll those devices to properly gain access to corporate resources. Enrolling a device is fairly simple and most of the time only takes a few minutes. However, there are different enrollment methods based if, based if a device is personally owned or corporate owned. The device ownership affects the type of configurations and secu security controls available for that device. Apple has two ownership models, organization owned or user owned. And with that, there are three main enrollment methods, user enrollment, device enrollment, and automated device enrollment. Automated device enrollment is an enrollment method tied to corporate owned models and requires the use of Apple Business Manager. Apple Business Manager is a free program from Apple. And one of its core job is to link devices to a customer's MDM, which unlocks the ability to use automated device enrollment and supervision. Supervision gives organizations the highest privileges on a device, like the ability to hide system applications like FaceTime and messages and other applications that may not be applicable to the use case of that device, as well as be able to uh, do things like customize a home screen layout so organizations can have a, a standardized look and feel of how they want that device to, uh, to look, as well as be able to do additional configurations like web filtering and silent application updates. Supervision is only available on devices that are enrolled into Apple Business Manager. And to get a device into Apple Business Manager requires that that organization purchases uh, that device through Apple or an approved reseller, and then Apple or that reseller has to enroll that device into that customer's Apple Business Manager. Once Apple or a reseller enrolls your device into Apple Business Manager, the next step is to assign that device to the MDM. To do that, open up business.apple.com. In this case, I am on the beta, so mine will look a little different than the majority of what a typical Apple Business Manager portal will look like. But once that's open, go to devices, and then you should see those devices that were enrolled. A lot of times you'll see it by order number, you can look it up by serial number and so forth, but find the devices or devices that need to be enrolled and linked to your MDM. In this case, I'm going to look at this iPhone 8 that I recently enrolled and then uh, hit the edit MDM server and then assign to your to your MDM. So uh, the prerequisite here is you'll need to uh, set up uh, your MDM server within the settings of Apple Business Manager. Um, uh, Jamf has some great Great guides on how to do that but once that's set up now we can assign it to your jam server and once that's assigned then it automatically links into jam once that's complete we can head over to jam devices pre-stage enrollments we can create a DEP profile in this case I already have one created I'll go ahead and select that and edit that within your DEP profile there's a lot of different settings and configurations that we have including things like uh, signing new devices, making the MDM profile mandatory and locking it to the devices, supervising the devices, preventing unenrollment, as well as being able to skip a lot of the setup screens that uh, that we see, like uh, skipping setting up Siri, skipping setting up the Apple ID and so forth. So this is some of the things that we typically see when we're leveraging automated enrollment and the MDM plays a role in being able to really create that enterprise type of device. But more importantly, once we have our DEP profile, um, once once that device is assigned from Apple Business Manager, it is now visible in Jam. So right away under pre-stage enrollments, we can see the devices that are in, in scope for getting this profile. So once those devices are there, we know that, hey, once they hit that end user, that, that, that end user will be able to uh, use automated enrollment, which is really no touch from IT and very low touch to get the device uh, uh, ready and managed. Uh, as a corporate device. Once we meet all of those requirements, automated device enrollment allows IT to be really hands off with the enrollment of that device. So a great example is we can send that device directly to a department or an end user, and the process looks like this. I have an iPhone 8, and that end user powers it on and goes through the typical setup assistant that we see. So they English, select your location, and then hit Wi-Fi. 
Once that end user allows that device access to Wi-Fi, the first thing that any Apple device is doing is talking to Apple servers for activation. With a device that's registered into a customer's Apple Business Manager, what Apple's going to do is say, hey, this device belongs to this customer's Jamf MDM, and it's gonna hand that device off directly to Jamf, and that's what you're seeing here. The device is now going through remote management automatically with, with zero input from the end user, and now downloading security configurations, applications, wallpaper customization, and so forth. So that's a great example of how a, an organization can use automated device enrollment to be able to just get devices out to their end users quickly uh, and be able to be really hands off with the enrollment of the device, but also ensuring that there's very little errors because that device is automatically walking itself into management. Our second type of enrollment is device enrollment. Device enrollment is one of the most common methods of enrollment we've seen on iOS for years. It's a method that can be used with both user-owned as well as corporate-owned models. Device enrollment requires enrollment through either a URL or an application agent installed on the device. Additionally, the device will have to be set up as well, so that it would have to have gone through the setup assistant at the home screen ready to be used. In this instance, in order to use a device enrollment, all an end user needs to do is open up Safari and then go to the URL for enrollment that they've received from their IT administrator. Once they're at that URL, simply put in their uh, credentials to log in, and then they'll go through the enrollment process, which includes downloading a profile. So uh, you'll, the user will click allow, and then they'll, that profile will be downloaded to their device. That end user will now open up settings, and they'll see profile downloaded right at the top there. The, the user will then hit install, and install that profile. Once that profile is installed, they'll go back to Safari to complete the rest of the enrollment, which includes installing one additional profile, the MDM profile. So they'll go through the same th setups uh, that they just did by going into settings and then uh, installing that downloaded profile. They'll need to trust that, uh, trust that profile and then once that ins profile is installed, that device is now being managed. Additionally, the end user can click more details to see all the different things that the IT administrator is managing on that device. To find your enrollment URL in Jamf, it's actually pretty easy. All you need to do is open up Jamf and at the very top in your browser, you'll have your URL, which has your uh, admin ID dot and then all you have to do is add it forward slash enrollment to that. So it would look similar to something like this. Uh, so that is the enrollment URL that you need to send to your end users when they're looking to log in uh, using these different uh, device provisioning methods. Once enrolled, IT administrators can manage many different aspects of the device, including the ability to restrict certain features of the device, as well as the ability to erase a device completely. While device enrollment does not allow all the supervised settings and configurations, it does allow a larger set of security restrictions and configurations that can be applied to the device, which is a great transition into user enrollment. User enrollment is an enrollment method best tied to BYOD models where the device is the end user or a personal device owned by that end user but still needs access to corporate resources and applications. Apple first introduced user enrollment with the release of iOS 13 as a more of a privacy centric way of managing a device. In this model, an end user will self-enroll into a company's MDM via a URL or an application agent, very similar to device enrollment. However, with one big difference, the user will enroll via a managed Apple ID. In order to create a managed Apple ID, a company will need access to Apple Business Manager. And within Apple Business Manager, an organization can either federate against an Azure Active Directory to automate the creation of managed Apple IDs, or an IT administrator can manually create managed Apple IDs. Either way, in order to use user enrollment, the company will need to supply an end user with a managed Apple ID that that end user will use to enroll the device. And from there, it'll be the same experience as you saw with device enrollment, where they go to that URL and, and uh, apply their managed Apple ID, and then complete the enrollment by downloading the different profiles and installing those onto the device. One of the biggest draws of user enrollment is its privacy-centered focus. Unlike other enrollment models, because the device is a personal device, Apple has restricted some settings from the MDM to ensure end user privacy. Some of the things that user enrollment cannot do on a device anymore is things like obtain any persistent device identifiers like the serial or the IMEI, as well as an IT administrator can no longer completely erase a device or factory reset a device. We cannot enforce restrict some restrictions like always on VPN, and we cannot collect any logs of those devices. However, under user enrollment, an MDM can still enforce things like passcode, 
be able to enforce some restrictions like managed open end to ensure that um, we're controlling where data resides in different applications, as well as being able to remove corporate data from that device. So while we can no longer factor reset or completely erase a device, we can do something called an enterprise wipe, which allows us to remove corporate data like email and other applications that we initially delivered to this device upon enrollment. So user enrollment is a great method to ensure that end users still maintain privacy, but companies and organizations still have the ability to uh, ensure that their data is secure on those devices and can be removed if needed.